What's up Team KBA, One Tech Traveler here in the Philippines in my work in progress KBA studio. Hoping you're having a great week so far. Uh, today I want to follow up with a video I did back when I was in Belgium and it was the first time I got my hands on some level eight luggage. I've got the check-in Voyager in front of me and it made such a great impression and really put them on the map with premium affordable luggages. So if you wanna check out my unboxing haul of the Voyager check-in and their textured carry-on luggage, then check out the video on my channel. One of the things I mentioned in the Voyager video was how much I loved the wide handle. It made the space a lot more usable inside. There's no column spine in the middle because the telescopic handles now sit across the side, but it also makes rolling it a lot more stable, a lot easier to navigate when you have bigger, heavier loads. One of the things that I hoped Level 8 would do is create a carry-on version. And that's exactly what they've gone and done. We've got the carry-on version of the Voyager and I'm really excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to see more travel stories and gear reviews. You can find my follow-up written review of the Level 8 Voyager on my website at onetechtraveler.com. And you'll also find my discount code exclusively for Team KBA just here to help you save money along the way. Let's go ahead and check out the Voyager carry-on luggage. Ooh. 360 tour around. You see, got that nice bold yellow that's kind of like a 60 40 color split. More so on the check in, on the carry on, it's more 50 50. On the side, we've got foot padding, and you'll notice we've got one handle on the check in, but we don't have one on this side of the carry on. On the back, this one has more of a textured pattern, so it carries through from the side, but the difference on the back and the black panel. This doesn't have that textured feel. It's just more like a, a standard block polycarbonate shell. We have foot pads and of course the wide handle. Same height level when you're carrying both at the same time. We've got a side handle on both of these. TSA lock on this side for the check-in. We have the TSA lock here for the carry-on instead of the side but they both have carry handles too. I had this in Belgium, took it back with me to the UK and also flew out with it to here in the Philippines. And I would say the yellows held up well. It's something that you'll have to take extra care of because it's a brighter color and because it's a check-in luggage, which means it's in the hands of baggage handlers. The marks are fairly easy to clean away. It doesn't have that textured pattern on the front. So more of a, an aesthetic and a feel. I do like the textured feel of it, but absolutely no problem here on the carry-on. You will notice we've got a bit more depth on the black side of the check-in and a smaller section on the front. On the carry-on, it's more even because the zip track is actually in the center. You're taking it with you on your flights, you're rolling it through security. It's not being checked in and rubbing alongside many other luggages in the cargo hold of a plane. So you'll definitely be able to keep this in pristine condition for longer. I've always found the zip tracks super smooth to open on both level eight luggages I've tried recently. So I'm assuming it's the exact same smooth experience on the Voyager. I'm gonna take this one down for now, open it up, and it follows pretty much the same design language as the Voyager check-in. If you are packing each side of this, it can keep it secured within these mesh dividers. You have this like hydrophobic sort of tarpaulin material. If you are putting some toiletries, you don't have a separate case for it, or you're just packing away for a short weekend. It's got some nice depth. It is going to sort of stretch out from the material, but this is water sealed. Any leakages, explosions from little bits you're carrying, toothpaste, mouthwash, at least this is going to do a far better job than the mesh compartment that you see below. So it's got some nice stretch and just more for your smaller bits. Now from the front side, this compartment is fully empty. Works great with Level 8's packing cubes. They have a full size one. We just have a mesh see-through, packing cube friendly, and these nice dividers are going to secure them together. Now, one thing that is missing in the 20 inch carry-on is their inbuilt divider mainly because it's a lot bigger, probably a lot more useful in a check-in than I would say in a carry-on. I've also got 
the textured luggage. They both fit inside one. So you'll notice there's a built-in divider, which actually is great for separating your packing cubes. It's a lot bigger space inside, and it's also a lot deeper because of that 60-40 split from the zip track. And I find that really useful for more bulkier things rather than having to split between the 50-50. Got the exact same feature, just a lot bigger for the waterproof pocket and the mesh compartment. I'm really stoked they've kind of read my mind or maybe it was in level eight's roadmap really like the handles they make such a big difference to rolling it especially uneven or different surfaces you can just hear how super quiet these are they've done a great job with the wheels and i'm glad that the voyager carry-on still has the same high quality wheels this is the textured series from level eight and you'll find them in a lot of slick, pastel, bright, bold, whatever colorful description you wanna use, it really helps it pop out. And for people who are kind of a bit tired of using your standard colors, then the textured is a nice one to really brighten up the way that you're traveling, adding a bit of your personality in your luggage. Got a light blue here, which is still one of my favorite colors of the textured. And it gets its name because this does have a similar textured pattern like on the check-in Voyager. There's not too many differences. It's primarily the handles that's going to give it away. This has more of a standard telescopic, like narrow handle, and this is the unique wide. And for me, usability wise, I really like this, but the textured, what I like about the handles, they're super robust. They don't wobble and it's one of the places where luggages can be quite weak on. So for the Voyager, the carry-on, I love the wide handle. Great to really move around, especially if it's a little bit heavier. You're going to find it a lot easier to roll with the Voyager because of the wide handle. Having said that, I had a great experience with the textured luggage. Even though it uses a standard telescopic handle, this thing is robust, like really high quality handles. It feels super sturdy, nice quality, feels great in the hand, more of a soft touch finish. And it doesn't have some of the wobbliness that you'll find in other luggages and like the weak points that can break away over time. They have the Voyager in other colors, but this is the one that features as a two-tone. You have your standard black and your navy. And you can see they follow a similar design concept. Just the inside is slightly different. The only real difference being you don't have that hydrophobic water compartment like you did in the Voyager, but looks similar. And whichever model you decide, they'll do a great job. But that is the textured and this is the Voyager. So that was a quick look at the recently added carry-on 20-inch version of the Voyager. I'm super stoked to carry it on my upcoming adventures. I've actually got a flight going to Bali in Indonesia in a couple of days. So it's the perfect time for me to really try this out in my typical flights, see how it compares to textured and also rounding up my thoughts using the Karen version with the check-in Voyager. If you like what you saw in today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions around the Voyager, the texture series, the carry-on, the check-in, then leave a comment down below. Use my discount code to help you save some along the way. Happy traveling, Team KVA. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.